what's up? This is Seth from Children 18.3. And for a while now, I've wanted to do some uh, drum lesson videos. Um, like after every show, um, people always come up to me and, and ask, you know, how do you do this? How do you play um, so fast or doubles or tricks or um, kick drum speed? And so I just wanted to um, show you guys what uh, I have done. Um, practice-wise to get where I'm at and what I'm continuing to work at um, to become a better um, drummer and musician. And so today I just wanted to talk about double strokes, uh, double stroke roll, and um, how to play an even double stroke roll, and then incorporating that around the kit and uh, being able to play um, that um, in a way. Um, and there's, I mean, there's... <laughs> There's a world of, of combinations and things that you can do just with uh, that one rudiment around the kit. And um, so first of all, I'll just demonstrate a double stroke roll for you. starting with the left hand um, so we'll get more comfortable as a, play, as a player and it'll help out when we come do things like five stroke rolls, seven stroke rolls, paradiddles, etc. And it'll also help um, even out our playing. Okay, So we always want to practice starting with our hand that is not predominant. So if we're a right handed player, practice starting with your left hand and if you're a left handed player, practice starting with your right hand. So that would, uh, that would sound like this. Okay, and the tendency with a double stroke roll is to get, kind of lose the second hit in each hand. Um, the first hit will be loud and the second hit in each hand on the volume, just the tendency will be quieter. And so one thing I would do to get an even roll is to accent the second hit in each hand. Okay, so once we're playing up tempo, um, we get a nice even, even roll. And like any rudiment and anything um, with drums or, or any instrument, if you want to play good fast, you gotta play good slow. You gotta practice slow. Okay, so um, to get an even, even uh, roll, I practice accenting the second hit in each hand, which would sound like this. Once we get the double stroke roll down um, evenly, then we can start adding it to our playing around the kit. And um, so I'll, I'll uh, touch on a few things here. And uh, once we get um, even on the snare drum, we can add more instruments um, with the same rudiment. Okay, which in this case would be double stroke roll. So right now I'm going to demonstrate adding. Um, a kick drum to the snare drum in, uh, in a double stroke manner using both hands. So I'll be doing the first two on the kick drum and then with my right and left hands. So that would sound like this. instruments um, with our hands so we can play play around say okay so when 
we're, when we're doing using both hands for a double on the top, we got to be careful not to flam. Okay, so we want a, a nice even, um, a nice even roll here. So um, it's it's important to keep in mind that you don't want to sound like, but you want two hits. Okay. So once we get that down, we can play the same thing using just one hand. Okay, so we'll try um, doubles with just the right foot on the kick drum and the right hand playing around the kit, okay, which would sound like this. with our left hand as well so or if you're left-handed play with your right hand so that would uh, I'll play that real quick okay so once we have that down we can add more drums into the equation uh, by playing instead of on um, the, the hand two hits, which would be the second second two hits, um, on the same instrument we can play uh, two instruments. Okay, so instead of playing kick drum, kick drum, snare, snare, we could say do kick drum, kick drum, snare, rack tom, or kick drum, kick drum, rack tom, snare. Um, and that would sound like this. Once we get comfortable a little bit with that, we can um, just have fun with it and play around a little bit. So um, we can try like if you if you play like doubles on the floor tom and the kick drum, it'll sort of sound like a double kick feel. And you can play over that, or you can play on the cymbals. Um, there's just like I said before, there's like a world of combinations that you can do with this, and. Uh, so I'll just demonstrate playing doubles on the kick drum and the floor tom, and then playing over that a little bit, and uh, what that would sound like. Okay, and I'll play it sort of up tempo. So just in, as an example of what you can do, and uh, actually this part, what I'll play right now is something that I do sometimes when I'm soloing um, at one part of the solo. So I'll, I'll I'll play that for you real quick. Okay. So to break that down, again, we're just doing doubles on the kick drum and the floor tom. Okay, and then I'm free with my left hand to sort of solo over that with um, the other instruments. Okay. Um, another thing you can do is invert what you're playing with your right hand over the kick drum. Okay, so to demonstrate that, um, I would play kick drum, kick drum, say, um, okay, I'm playing kick drum, kick drum, snare drum, floor tom, okay? So that would be...
Okay, so to invert that, we would do instead of kick drum, kick drum, snare drum, floor tom, kick drum, kick drum, snare drum, floor tom, we would play kick drum, kick drum, snare drum, floor tom, kick drum, kick drum, floor tom, snare drum. So that would sound like. Okay, and I do this in um, some solos I do as well, um, sort of upbeat. Um, at an upbeat tempo, and um, what I like to do is add another hit, hit. so when we're playing that we have our, our left hand free, and so what I like to do is add another hit in between the two strokes of the right hand, um, which would sound like this. Okay, so with the kick drum it would be... Okay, and so up tempo that would be. So these are just uh, some combinations that I've worked on and uh, I'm continuing to work on to get better um, as a drummer and as a musician. Um, using the, the double stroke rudiment playing around the kit. Um, you can also add, like, just play beats, um, like say off the, off the hi-hat and the kick drum, which would sound like... Or, add, uh, again, add another instrument, like uh, rack tom. So, I mean, there's just a, a ton of stuff, um, combinations that you can do with uh, the, the double stroke roll. Like, uh, a rudiment as simple as the double stroke roll, you can really take it and run with it um, around the kit, kit. So, there's some examples of what I've done and what I'm working on. And uh, hopefully, you can take this and run with it. <laughs>